look for the lemongrass elixir too. That's a beautiful drink to offer them. It's Sunday afternoon, and Chef Arun Sampantavivat is having company at his summer home in Michigan. The event has grown from a small brunch to a full-blown party. Okay, welcome everyone. I guess this is my way that I always think big. This is truly a culinary experience. And for Arun, food means bringing people together. To bring the two friends of two cultures together, I feel that uh, this is a bridge of understanding. I play only a small part to help uh, these two friends together, to, to put hands together and to, to share good time together. It's tremendous for me. The buffet is a huge hit, and Arun can finally relax, knowing he's delivered another outstanding meal. It's a little break for me. Arun gained a deep appreciation for life's comforts back in 2005, when his mother was struck with a life-threatening aneurysm while on vacation in Thailand. We were shocked because she was very healthy and strong. All of a sudden, it just happened. Naturally, Arun was devastated and needed to be at her side. It was at his mother's side when Arun, in desperation, began to pray. He had never been religious until this moment. The only option left is to leave, leave it to God, whatever you believe in, for me, to the Buddha, that, to bring her back. It's not, not yet time. I, I'm not ready to let go with her. He did more than pray. I made a vow to the Buddha that um, if she survived this ordeal, I would enter the monkhood. Then, his mother defied her doctor's prognosis and began making a remarkable recovery. I'm happy today, at least she's with us, as I beg, you know, the Buddha to grant back her life. And she's back with, uh, with us, you know. Arun was spiritually transformed by his mother's remarkable recovery. And within weeks, he honored his vow to become a Buddhist monk. He became a monk the way he does everything else. Sleeping on the floor, shaving his head, begging for his food every morning. It made me feel so humble, you know? I felt so humble that, I, my gosh, that, you know, as a chef, I used to eat all the great things. Now they gave me one sticky rice there, you know, one bundle of sticky rice. In his station in life where he was born, he was given all the, the advantages. And a chef who was accustomed to the finer things in life have to beg for food must have been a life changer for him, must have really opened up his eyes. That was a spiritual turning point. But being a monk has kept me in line with others, what, what they might think, what they might feel, what they might need. Arun had become much more compassionate. The changes were immediately noticeable to his staff when he got back to Chicago. He used to be very aggressive, but now the experience probably teaching him, you know, much better, so he kind of calmed down. Arun's perspective on food changed too. He said that when you watch a monk eat one grain of rice at a time, it reminded him how important every grain was. He now felt he had a higher calling. And although Arun never saw the opportunity coming, one of those things was going to be sharing his culinary talents with others. Food is part of culture. You need to grow like the big tree. You need to branch out to different directions. 